So hopefully we can do some more snow melting because there are literally mountains of snow all over town after last, last week's storm. Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers talked with a snow removal company about what they're doing to get rid of those snow mountains. She is live at the Woods Basement System Storm Runner. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, Glenn, some of these snow piles are just massive. And even though we're going to have some relatively warm days and a chance to do a lot of melting, it's going to take some time for these snow piles to melt away. And that means work continues for area crews. Perpetual plowing the priority. For Chris Richard of American Snow and Ice, his crews will maintain their already hectic pace. We have to treat for black ice every night to keep uh, our customers and the employees at all of our stores safe, knowing that some of our employees come in as early as five in the morning to stock shelves. These mountains of snow will be here for some time to come. I would say an easy three to four weeks, uh, depending on the temperatures, and that's, God forbid, we don't get another snow. During the day, these piles are snow, but when temperatures fall below freezing at night, they turn into ice. This means it takes longer to thaw the next day and there won't be as much melting of the pile. What happens is uh, if you were to take a cup of snow and you were to take an ice cube, the cup of snow is going to melt faster any day of the week just due to the fact that ice is dense. Snow is not quite as dense. Richard and his crew use heavy machinery to move the massive snow mountains. We're probably somewhere in the ballpark of 400 tons of snow that we will move tonight. And then we'll put down a fresh layer of salt and then we will cure the problem of refreeze and we can go to bed and know that the parking lot's safe and nobody's going to get hurt. And these piles look pretty nasty and dirty here, but the dirty snow actually melts faster. That's because it's a darker color and it will absorb more of the sun's rays versus the clean snow that will reflect most of that sun's energy away back up into the atmosphere. So it can be a good thing leading to faster melting of those snow piles. Reporting live from Chesterfield outside of the woods basement system storm runner, meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.